close your eyes, watch your breath. We stay with the breath both because it's a good place to stay in the present moment, and because we're developing good qualities that will see us, see us through the future. I mean, we could find rest for the mind simply by sleeping, but that doesn't develop the good qualities. The good qualities come when you see the mind wandering off and you bring it back. You see it wandering off again, you bring it back again. That requires alertness to see what's going on in the mind. And ardency, the desire to do this well. And it's in the ardency that the wisdom lies. Wisdom means thinking about the consequences of what you're doing. This is one of the reasons why in the, in the forest tradition so much emphasis is placed on thinking about what you're doing and trying to do it well, even on little things. And then from little things that outside it goes into the mind. So try to be intent on what you're doing, alert to what you're doing, and think about the consequences. Otherwise you just go through life obliviously. You do what you want, and then when the results come in ways that you don't want them, then you complain, without having thought about the fact that, well, maybe it comes back from something you did. And we see this when we sit down and meditate. All kinds of unskillful habits come up in the mind. That's because in the past we've been careless about the mind. We've let it think about whatever occurs to it, whatever it wants to think about. And now we're paying the consequences. So have some concern for your future. This is what otapa means in Pali. It's translated as fear of the consequences of evil. But it doesn't have to be evil, just carelessness. You've got the opportunity to be alert to what you're doing, so make the most of it. You've got choices you can make in the present moment, so try to make the choices that are wisest, both now and on into the future. And that way, over time, the mind becomes a much more pleasant place to be, because it's got good qualities and and build into it good qualities that will help it to deal with whatever comes up. We spend a lot of time worrying about the future, but there's so much that we can't know about what's going to happen in the future. But we do know that if we're more alert, more mindful, more concentrated, more discerning, we'll be more likely to be able to handle unexpected things as they arise. So try to develop those qualities as you meditate. That way the mind rests and at the same time gets strengthened. And its wisdom develops as it's working on things that will have good consequences in the immediate future and, and into the long term.